hi guys um, this machine I did I've just changed that um, Google Chrome uh, script I've changed the script I made few changes to it and let's see how does that work now okay I'm running this cycle as you can see right now, um, the registry, there are, no, there are no registry entries for Google Chrome. Similarly, there are no um, Google Chrome entries in the add remove programs, right? And same goes with even uh, the C program files. There's no Google folder. Right, guys? So now what I'm doing here, I'm trying to run this um, configuration baseline. It says last evolution not available, not applicable. So right, so let me run this, evaluate it. I see it's already running. See, already Google started, so it's already running. It's in the process. It's still running. So the moment I refreshed, it started triggering. So you cannot see the last evolution uh, until unless it gets completed. So it has found that there's no uh, entry in the registry. So I see it's it has already created a folder under C program files. And if you go to task manager, you see Google update exe is running there. And MSI exe is also running. Okay, so this, let me refresh here as well. So you should see Google folder here, Google registry keys. Yep, there you go. So this is created now and there you go. You have Google Chrome now. And if you go to the add remove programs, there you go. You have the Google Chrome application as well. So basically, what's the, uh, what is that we want to teach you and how did we do that? So let me even uh, confirm from the baseline as well. This should now, if you refresh, should show it as compliant and the last evolution time should get updated, right? So it says there's an error, uh, but the last evolution time is at 308. So let me check where's the error is. So what you can do is you can click on view report. Okay, so it says there is an error in running this. Okay, the script execution has timed out because it might have taken more time to run the installation. However, the installation has been already successful as you can see, but even before the installation uh, completed, uh, the configuration baseline has taken back. That's the reason it is showing as error. Never mind, when you reevaluate it, now it should find everything in place and it should say it as compliant. Right, there you go. So it, it shows as compliant. So what happened earlier was um, the baseline ran and while the Google Chrome is trying to remediate it, right, it took more time than any other configuration baseline because basically the configuration baseline, it immediately checks for few registry keys and, uh, you know, few file versions and all the other things and immediately it will give you an update whether the machine is compliant or non-compliant. So in this case, um, what we did was uh, since the machine is non-compliant, we wanted to uh, even make it compliant and run the uh, uh, run the uh, remediation script. So it took a little bit more time to uh, to install Google Chrome. So meanwhile, uh, the, the configuration baseline just showed as error, but in reality, you can already see that the Google Chrome application is installed. So when I re-evaluated it, so it found that, okay, everything is in place and it shows as compliant right and one more thing now if you click on the view report yep it shows as compliant and yeah it says the value is there right so this completes this activity and let's see uh, let me show you what I changed from 
uh, from the script that we did in the class, right? The only change here was, you know, in the configuration item baseline, there are two scripts here, right? One is for the uh, discovery. So we never had any issues with discovery. It was always discovering, it was checking the registry. So we never had an issue with discovery script. The only issue was with the remediation script. It was not able to remediate it, right? So if you click on that remediation script, so earlier I had um, a different uh, VB script. So I was in a hurry to create a remediation script. So I just went to VBS edit and I took some sample script, right? So that did not work properly. So later on what I did, I created a proper script by defining the variables, right? And running the uh, exact MSI XCC uh, proper command with quiet and no restarts, right? So when I uh, have this proper script, which will install Google Chrome, so everything went fine. So the issue was just with the proper remediation script. Okay, guys, so nothing else was changed. So, so that's all. So just uh, to brief on the process, see, what we did uh, was if it was pretty, if it was only to report a non-compliant uh, machine, right? So that was pretty uh, clear in the earlier example of VLC media player, right? So the moment it found that uh, the machine is non-compliant, it found that the particular registry is not there or particular file version is not there. So immediately it reported back saying that uh, it's a critical error and the machine is non-compliant. Whereas in this case, we are trying to fix the issue as well. So when you're trying to remediate it, uh, the thing is you cannot remediate, uh, you cannot auto remediate based on a file version check. You can auto remediate either from a uh, registry check, that means if there is a value of one and you want to toggle back to zero or something like that, right? So there it, it will automatically remediate it, that helps. Or if you have a WQL query, oh yes, you can write a uh, WQL query to automatically, you can uh, uh, write a WQL query to uh, discover uh, a setting and then automatically remediate. So even that supports. And similarly, the third one which supports is any script for that matter, VB script, PowerShell or J script. If you have any one of these scripts, you can use one of these scripts to discover the compliance, right? to determine the compliance saying that only if this, this, this values are there, if uh, your script is threatening uh, some XYZ value, then only I'm considering this machine is compliant. If my script is not returning this particular value, then uh, you know the machine is non-compliant. And then in such cases, you will have an option to write a remediation script. So you can write anything in that remediation script. So in our case, we have written a complete installation of Google Chrome. So it can be installation of an application or installation of a patch, right? Or uh, making 10 different changes on the machine. Right, so what, what you can also do is say suppose if you have uh, 10 different items as uh, as in the case of post migration checklist, right? So there are 10 different things that you wanted to check. So what you can do is you can just write a script which will do all these 10 different checks and only if all the 10 different checks are passed, it gives you an um, uh, output saying that okay, uh, uh, exit code is equal to zero, and based on that you say okay, if the output is zero, then the machine is compliant because all the ten things have passed. If the exit code is not zero, it comes with uh, some some error or it comes with some one, two, three, four, five, something like that. Then you can have the remediation script, which wherein you will um, write a proper script saying that okay, um, uh, looks like uh, the machine some of the checkpoints are missed in the machine. So now. Uh, you know, if the core application is not installed, go ahead and install the core application. If the remote desktop is not enabled, enable it. User data is uh, backup is not done, uh, it has not been restored, restore it. So such kind of things can be in involved there. And yes, so that way uh, you can make sure that uh, the application installation is uh, completed and the post migration checklist is done. Right guys? So that way remediation scripts will help you. Fine guys, so we have seen um, both the examples end to end and Thanks for your time.